Welcome back to Meadowbrook Lanes in Warwick, Rhode Island for the deciding match in the Rhode Island Duckpin Bowling Proprietors Association Tournament Series Finals. You're looking at Mike Ware on lane 6. Mike is bowling against Steve Lipke. And it is a strike to start off for Mike Ware. Great shot. Let's take a look at it on replay. Mike is coming out of the loser's bracket and he just beat Steve in the first match of the uh, the final round. Of course he has to has to beat Steve twice in order to win the title because Steve was undefeated so he was in the winner's bracket in this double elimination tournament. And Steve Lipke cannot believe it. He leaves a 5-7 split. You can't really see the 7 pin from this camera angle but that is a 5-7 and Steve has got to be wondering what he's being punished for because he left no fewer than five splits in the first match against Mike Ware. He was uh, pretty much consistently on the head pin the whole match but he kept leaving splits and that was en route to a 123 game. Steve converts the 7 pin for a 10 box that brings up Mike Ware on lane 5 to fill in that strike that he threw in the first box. And Mike punches through the middle and leaves a 2-3-4 split. The, uh, the winner of this match will receive $1,500 for the championship first prize. The runner-up will go home with $800. Either way, it's not a bad payday for a weekend of bowling. And Mike Ware with an 8 on the strike and a 9 in the box, so he's got 27 after 2. And remember, this is a handicap match, and Mike Ware has a 15-pin advantage because of the handicap. And there's a strike by Steve Lipke. That's... Uh, not much to say about this one, just high flush, puts 10 pins in the pit, great shot right there. Steve, uh, seem, that seems like the only way he can avoid a split is to uh, stuff it so solid in the pocket that nothing has a chance to stand up. In any, in any case, that's a, uh, a great shot. Mike Ware with a 9 drop, leaving a 5 pin. Mike has, after losing his first match of the day, he has just steamrollered his way through the, the field en route to this final match. And he converts the 5-pin for a spare in the third box. Steve Lipke comes up to fill the strike. And he has, oh dear, what do you know, another split for Steve. This is a 7-8. He missed the head pin this time, but got some sidewall action. Unfortunately, he's left with a 7-8, and he takes out the 8 pin with his second ball. But he's going to be open in the third. And it's going to be a 9 box. Steve has 38 through 3. Mike Ware with 37 with a ball working. And Mike adds just four on the left side. He's got the one, three, five, six, nine, ten. And he almost converts that. That's a really difficult spare to, uh, to convert. And he goes pretty full on the head pin, takes out everything but the three. And he knocks that down for a ten box, giving him... 51 through the fourth. Steve Lipke on lane five. Steve has had an outstanding tournament, as you might imagine. Oh, boy, there is another split. 5-7 this time. Steve had well over 700 in qualifying scratch. I, I don't remember his exact score, but he was really bowling the lights out in the, in the uh, qualifying round. 
And there's a great shot by Steve. He converts the 5-7 split. I guess that's pretty much uh, the only thing he can do if he's going to keep leaving these splits is to start making them. And you can see he cuts the 5 into the 7 perfectly right there. That gives him 48 with a spare up in the 4th. Mike Ware on lane 6 drops 6 leaving the 1, 2, 4, 8. And he's got it. Spare in the 5th for Mike Ware. Take another look at it. Just a perfect shot right here. Runs down the 1, 2, 4, 8. Steve Lipke filling in that spare. And he punches through the middle. Leaves this 2, 3, 6, 10. And you remember the last game, he got everything but the 10 pin on this shot after he just cut the 3 over into the 2 but didn't take out the 10. So this time he goes to the left side of the 3 pin and just takes out the 3, 6. Steve has got to be wondering what he has to do here because he has been on the head pin consistently through both matches and has uh, seemingly seen nothing but splits except for the uh, the few occasions when he uh, he throws a strike. In any case, Mike Ware comes back up on lane five in the sixth box, and Mike has. And there is a strike for Mike Ware. Let's take a look at it. Pretty, a uh, little bit of a high one-two pocket hit here. Looks like he might leave the triangle six, nine, ten, but the three pin comes off the wall into that triangle, and you can see they uh, they go down for a strike in the sixth. Lipke. And what do you know? Another split. This is a 2 6. The we'll try and. Actually, it was a uh, 2 6 8. I didn't notice that sleeper in back there. That's really, really an extremely difficult spare. And he takes out the 2 6 off the wall but leaves the 8. And it's a 10 box for Steve Lipke. Mike Ware in the seventh. Misses the head pin, but uh, leaves a 1, 2, 4. Another makeable spare here. Similar to the one that he just made on this lane, so see if he can do it again. And there it is. Mike Ware goes to the right side of the head pin, and you'll see the two pin comes off the wall and trips the four. Pretty much starting to look like destiny at this point. Mike Ware is on fire. And there is a strike by Steve Lipke. Steve is a little... Uh, Sheepish about that one. Finally gets a break, and you can see he trips the four, and the uh, the seven is up. As you can, you can't quite see it, but the seven was up there, and that that rolling pin took it down. So another strike by Steve Lipke, and a very timely one because he is trailing by quite a few pins at this point, and he really is going to need a couple more. He's going to need to mark out. Mike Ware with just a 3 on the spare, taking out the 4, 7, 8. And he's got the spare. Looked like he might have been showing signs of a few butterflies there on the first ball. Probably not used to bowling for 1500 bucks, but he bounces right back, as you can see, and just converts the spare perfectly in the 1-3 pocket. So, just a momentary hiccup with the 3-drop, and then he's just back on the train with uh, 
with his fourth consecutive mark. Let's see what Steve Lipke can do. He really needs another strike here. And he doesn't doesn't hit the head pin. He's got four. So Steve is trailing by approximately 34 pins, I think, including the handicap. And Steve puts a nine fill on the strike giving him 91 through the 7th. And he's got the 5 pin remaining. So it'll be a 9 box and Steve has 100 through the 8th. Mike Ware has 114. So Mike's lead is actually 29 pins plus whatever he gets on this fill ball. going to be a six drop. He misses the head pin and gets a little sidewall action, leaving the four, five, seven, eight. And Mike goes between the four, five, just takes out the eight pin, so he's still got three pins remaining. Four, five, and seven. Then he takes out the seven. So it'll be an 8 box, giving him 128 through the night. Now Steve Lipke trailing by 35. So he's going to need a double strike at, at some point in the last two. In fact, even that probably wouldn't be enough, but uh, he's going to really need to pretty much get the maximum in the last two frames. And he starts off with a 6 drop, leaving a 1, 2, 4, 10. And Steve punches out the head pin. So you really can't fault Steve for the way he's bowled in these two final matches. He's uh, He's been all over the head pin, but he just can't seem to break down the splits. He will have 109 through the ninth. And Mike Ware actually has enough pins to win because he's, he's up by, uh, let's see, he's up by 34, so Steve can't come back at this point. So Mike Ware is going to win the $1,500 first prize and take home the title of 2011 Rhode Island Duck Pin Bowling Proprietors Association Tournament Series Finals Champion. And that's, uh, that's a pretty prestigious honor for a guy who just recently converted from 10-pin bowling to duck pins. Obviously, he's... Uh, made the transition pretty well and he's, he's got a lot of promise as a duck pin bowler. And you can see he's pretty happy accepting the congratulations from the, the assembled spectators and bowlers. So Steve Lipke will win 700 or $800 for coming in second. Certainly a great day for, uh, for Steve as well. So let's take a look at the final score, as you can see on, on the scoreboard, and we'll just put it up on the screen. Mike Ware with a 138 game, plus the 39 handicap pins giving him 177. Steve Lipke, 142. So Mike Ware wins the 2011 Tournament Series Finals over uh, Steve Lipke, who comes in second. We'll see you next year.